All right, Facebook Q and A. Troy Guillory asked a very good question. He was asking, um, doing steady state cardio around your weight training session, if the adenosine monophosphate kinase, the AMP-K promotion would defeat the mTOR response from your weight training or mechanical force resistance training session that you just did. So there are studies I believe that do show that it does compete and it could hinder the mTOR response, which is gonna ignite protein synthetic response and all that awesome stuff after your training. So I would definitely try as much as possible to spread apart your steady state cardio away from your weight training. That's something that, well, I've done both and it was a little bit foolish um, in my earlier years whenever I was doing contest preps as a teen and then a little bit after that is that I would do my cardio after my weight training because I needed to get my double session in and the way my work schedule was I had to do it or at least I thought I had to do it. I really didn't need that much cardio to begin with back then but I wanted to push. So I would always do your steady state cardio upon waking if you can. I think that's a good time just get it over with, get your endorphins going, get your mental clarity going, get your day started. Do that and then you know segregate that from your weight training session which you know maybe is in the evening or late afternoon maybe a four hour gap what have you or you could of course which is some which is my favorite uh is do uh, high intensity interval training cardio or hit uh post training because you're still doing um some form of almost resistance training from the quadricep work that you're doing hopefully you're doing 20 second 15 second or 30 second all out sprints and you're probably only going to do those for 8, 10, 12, 15 minutes max, you're in and you're out. So that would probably be okay and not hinder um, the mTOR response. But if you're gonna do a 35, 45, an hour of cardio afterwards, I don't like that. I'd rather someone get repleted, get their amino acids back in the body, their protein powder, get replenished and get the recovery process started. So I would definitely uh, keep cardio in the equation in the off season, but I would definitely get it away from weight training. Uh, I believe Dorian Yates was an advocate of that just by natural instincts without even seeing a study he just instinctively knew that he didn't want to dig into his recovery time with aerobic capacity it just changes energy substrates it changes everything kind of flips the script on your on your physiology so in my opinion guys I would definitely segregate them 